Welcome to the lounge, everyone. My name is Sobir Radel, and today I want to bring a little bit more optimism and hope for those people who feel like there is too much dark out there. There's never enough optimism. I want to talk about us today, not George and me, us as a generation. Because we need to believe that we are the future. In that sense, that we one day will be the oldest generation there is. I mean, that happens to every generation eventually, right? It's a weird idea that all of us will be an orphan one day. Because that's just the way it goes. And that shouldn't bring fear into our hearts, but a sense of responsibility and strength. Because we as a generation will one day carry the other generations, the older ones who cannot take care of themselves as good anymore. And the young ones, the, the really young ones who uh, cannot do that yet. I had a little chat these days with a few guys, yeah. deep talk session, you know, and we were talking about how we feel about what is going on in the world right now. And, and an idea came up that made me think so hard about it, I had to make a video about it. And, it's the, and I'm talking about this sense of feeling powerless and overwhelmed because of all of these crises these days. So at one point I asked them, do you feel worried or even anxious about what may lie ahead of us in the coming years? And one surprise in specific surprised me quite a bit because one answer was, I don't even know if I want to have kids anymore because I'm not sure if I can put the weight and all the bad in this world on them. And I must say in the first place, I can absolutely understand why you would be worried these days. You see, at this point, I originally wanted to uh, list a few things and a few crises like, like what I'm actually talking about, but then I realized that's absolutely unnecessary. If I need, need to tell you which crisis we face these days, uh, this video <laughs> won't help you anymore. I have those crises here on my, on my sheet, but I will not list them now because you know them. You know all of them, or most of them. They may differ in impact and significance to different people, but the main points, the main crises are on everybody's list in our day and age. And I must say, looking at all these crises, taking them all into consideration, I, I must say, we have all right to being optimistic. There is, there is so much in this world that makes me sure that if anyone, if anyone can change bit to bit to bit to make it better, it's the people around me. It's the people that I know. I know enthusiastic, absolutely capable young teachers just at my age who are just now starting their teaching careers. And I'm absolutely positive that being a teacher is one of the hardest job in our day and age if you take your profession seriously. And that gave me hope. I know two fantastic policemen who think of themselves as idealists. Their duty is to protect other people. And it's their duty and they want to fulfill it. They love what they do. And even though it's hard, and I know it's hard, <laughs> I talk to them. And the stories they told are <laughs> a little bit, a little bit wild from time to time. But they love what they do and they wouldn't change it for anything in the world. And that gives me hope. And I know young doctors eager to show their patients that they are the ones they can rely on that they will care for their patients in the best way possible. But the sad thing is that in many cases, they are not led to the front where they are needed. 
We have such a huge lack in uh, medicine personnel, but they are not led to the front. And they want to show what they can, what they have. They want to prove themselves and that they can handle the pressure. And that gives me hope. Finally, I know one thing for sure, that I can have kids and do not need to worry about our future. Because I know so many people and I'm, and I bet you know a lot of people too, that you trust because of the profession that they chose and how eager they are to lead us into a better future. Who do not care about the odds, they will carry on in the profession that they've chosen for themselves and believe will make an impact. I will try to follow those guys around me in their footsteps and I hope you will do too. So believe in us, believe in our generation and yourself as a part of it. Believe that we can solve all those issues that are around us right now and will happen in the future. Because we have all right to being optimistic and hopeful about that. There, I mean, of course, there are so many bad and evil people out there, of course. But we can decide to focus on those guys and, and the criminals and some more guys who did some shady stuff and whatnot. But ultimately, there's only one perspective and only one view. And it's the one that goes directly into the future. That's what I believe. That was what I, what I thoroughly believe. And, and on, a, on a different note, I also believe that we barely have any choice. Because I do not like how, the thi how many things are handled in this world right now. And so I've, I've, I'm sure that it is high time that we take it into our hands because some, many or all of our past generations didn't do their job as good as they could and should have. My name is Sobel Rodell and I hope you feel a little bit more optimistic because we have all right to do so. And I will see you again next time here in my lounge. <laughs>